The Great Barrier Reef is the largest reef system on Earth. It spans 2,300 kilometres along the Queensland coast and thousands of species call the reef home. Just like other reefs worldwide, the Great Barrier Reef is under threat from a number of sources. That includes the impacts of climate change, declining water quality, and it includes the impacts of coastal development. And Eris would be the first project worldwide that has attempted to address this complexity on such a large geographic scale. We know that from observational studies that we've done over decades, the ecosystems of the Great Barrier Reef responds in a negative way to increased sediment nutrients and pesticides that come down from rivers. Together we try to use the e-reef models to understand the impact of those stresses on the health of the Great Barrier Reef. One of the challenges with water quality is that it's quite hard as a land manager to know that the actions you do today actually have a benefit to reef health in 20, 25, 30 years time. E-Reefs makes it possible to track land runoff from the paddock to the ocean and shows how it impacts water quality. It shows how reef health is affected by changes in land use practice. So as a tool, what's unique about E-Reefs is that it actually spans the whole Great Barrier Reef, essentially an information hub, consolidating information that we get from satellites, from ocean models. E-Reefs has become a vital surveillance and assessment tool for coral bleaching, providing up-to-date information about changing sea temperatures. So we're using the ARIS models by understanding what potentially drives the nutrient loads that turn an otherwise benign population of crownathorn starfish into an explosive population that eats vast amounts of coral. It is also informing reef water quality improvement targets and guiding investment in measures to improve water quality on the Great Barrier Reef. The groundbreaking work that's been done here will be able to be taken and utilised in various ways in other coral reefs around the world. But if we can achieve it for the Great Barrier Reef, that'll be a huge success. Air Reefs isn't a static project. As we learn more about the Great Barrier Reef, we will improve the models that we've developed. And what it holds in the near future is things like a seven day forecast of the marine environment, akin to a weather forecast, but in this case, simulating the marine environment and the water quality on the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is a vital ecosystem and Air Reefs is a vital step in our commitment to protecting it.